Okay. We ready, folks? Okay. Are we ready now? Yes, please. Okay. We continue to see a very serious situation evolving across uh, the whole of the region in the southwest and the southeast of Queensland. I can advise that we have now almost completed the evacuation at Forest Hill. Uh, about three quarters of an hour ago, there remained 70 people to be evacuated, and we expect to have all of them out of Forest Hill and to safety uh, very, very soon. In relation to the uh, growing toll that uh, this event is taking, uh, we remain the official death toll remains at nine. Uh, we can now revise down further the number of people missing to 59. However, I can say that the police now hold very grave fears for at least 15 of those 59. So while the official death uh, numbers at this stage remain at nine, we have grave concerns for at least 15 others and we remain uh, with 59 people uh, unaccounted for. In terms of uh, SES activity, we are now seeing extreme, uh, a lot of uh, activity for all of our SES staff out there at the front line. Uh, since midday yesterday, between uh, the southwest and the southeast, we've seen 34,000 calls for assistance. Uh, this, of course, means we've got uh, literally hundreds of people out there working to assist people, uh, whether it's with relatively minor or critical incidents. In terms of the weather, the most recent report from the Bureau indicates, firstly, that uh, rainfall since 9am this morning has seen uh, more than 100 mils drop across a number of flood-affected areas, particularly in that Toowoomba and Lockyer Valley area. And we've seen an, uh, that sort of rainfall directly into the Wyvernhoe Dam and directly into its catchment. On a uh, slight note of relief, uh, the current forecast is that the rainfall is starting to ease across the uh, region and it's expected to weaken further overnight and hopefully start to clear by late uh, morning tomorrow. However, the clearing rain does not change the forecasts, particularly for either Ipswich or Brisbane in terms of river levels. Uh, Ipswich, uh, we continue to forecast a river peak of 22 uh, metres uh, sometime tomorrow with uh, highs of close to 19 metres overnight. Brisbane, uh, we, and sorry, by way of uh, comparison, 22 metres expected in Brisbane, uh, sorry, 22 metres expected in Ipswich tomorrow. By comparison, the peak in Ipswich in 1974 was 20.6. So we are seeing a very serious situation overnight in Ipswich. Similarly, the forecast for Brisbane remains, as I outlined earlier this afternoon, that we expect to see levels above the 1974 levels at the Brisbane City Gauge uh, sometime on Thursday. In Dolby, we're seeing the rivers st stabilise, although remaining high. Chinchilla, the waters are continuing to rise, and they're continuing to rise in the Condamine, and are expected to do so slowly throughout the week, and could, at this stage, reach the uh, previous high from last week that saw the town evacuated sometime over the weekend. In terms of uh, Ipswich, we now have four evacuation centres established in Ipswich. The Ipswich Showgrounds, St Joseph's School and uh, Ipswich Boys Grammar and Ipswich Girls Grammar. Uh, the Mayor advises me that we now have more than 500 people at the showgrounds and they are planning for that to swell to somewhere between two and 3,000 people overnight. Uh, in the uh, 1974 flood saw 1,800 homes affected in Ipswich, so with river levels expected higher than that, I think you get a sense of what we're dealing with in Ipswich tonight and tomorrow morning. In uh, the most recent uh, modelling, although it's being revised, uh, if we see these sorts of levels in the Brisbane uh, River, then we would expect to see somewhere uh, above 9,000 properties uh, affected significantly by this uh, water level and more than 30,000 other properties having some impact. So we do expect to see large-scale impacts in suburbs around Brisbane. The evacuation centre for Brisbane is now open at the RNA and it is being activated, as you'll appreciate, uh, setting up uh, 
accommodation uh, and uh, meals capacity for that many people will be developed through the, throughout the evening and in tomorrow. I'm advised that at this stage we only have one family uh, at the RNA, but we do expect to see that number grow substantially, and we're ensuring, or well, the Brisbane City Council and the uh, local disaster management group are ensuring that they have a capacity there for a minimum of 3,000 people and uh, planning in the event that they may need other evacuation capacity. Uh, they'll look at that uh, tomorrow. Uh, as I said, we still have 59 people who are unaccounted for. That means there are the families and loved ones of 59 Australians who tonight uh, do not know uh, where those people are or the circumstances uh, in which they find themselves. We know that we have very grave fears for at least 15, but with uh, so many others outstanding and unaccounted for, uh, we still face uh, some very grim news as we continue the search and rescue activities. One of the great things about the rain starting to clear even overnight is that we do expect to see much more activity in the search and rescue teams across the Lockyer Valley. And uh, as they are able to get into some of these creeks and tributaries and some of the terrain becomes a little more accessible, we do expect uh, to have a better idea of just how many of those people remain unaccounted for. Uh, I might uh, also say on behalf of Queenslanders that our thoughts are also with our friends and colleagues in northern New South Wales. The rain that we've been experiencing is now in that region and we know that we're seeing roads cut and communities isolated. Uh, so having experienced so much ourselves here in Queensland, we send our thoughts and our wishes to the people of northern New South Wales and we hope that they remain safe. Did you want to make some comments, Commissioner? Uh, thanks, Premier. Look, the Premier has comprehensive, comprehensively covered all the current issues. Um, I just endorse those comments, particularly starting with Ipswich and Brisbane. Uh, we're doing all we can there. We're working very well with the local uh, government authorities, the Ipswich City Council and the Brisbane City Council. And particularly for Brisbane, and the Premier flagged the so scope and scale of what we're looking at here, 9,000 homes was, and properties with some serious um, inundation and up to 30,000 potentially uh, with some inundation. Uh, that modelling work, though, is continuing as we speak and being fine-tuned, and through the media we'll get that information to you, and it'll be available as well through the Brisbane City Council's um, sites. Uh, Ipswich, of course, is a bit quicker. Uh, that will uh, peak tomorrow, so um, we're working again closely with the Council there. I'm absolutely confident, though, that uh, you can have confidence in the emergency services and the Councils and the Government's response to this. Uh, obviously, we ask people not to panic, uh, stay calm, and um, but but act wisely, and if you're in doubt, we'll evacuate to friends or evacuate. Uh, don't, um, don't take any unnecessary risks. Uh, again, a, a number of communities uh, look as though they're going to experience similar flooding to that which they experienced recently, uh, places such as Warwick and Dolby and uh, Chinchilla. Uh, that's regrettable, but I suppose the, the only hopeful news there is that we don't think that in any of those towns the flooding is going to be worse uh, than it was uh, previously. And uh, we got through that, and we'll get through this. And just to recap the Premier's comments that in that terrible tragedy that's occurred in the Lockyer Valley, uh, we're very hopeful that two things will happen tomorrow. One is that this dreadful weather will stop up there, uh, and secondly, that the waters will subside, and that'll allow the police and emergency services workers to, take, to start uh, more fulsomely the terribly sad task of looking for those people who've lost their lives. Uh, can I just add that uh, a couple of very clear messages from emergency workers, the obvious ones, water is deadly, do not play in it, keep children away from it. Uh, people are being asked to defer any unnecessary travel. If you don't need to be out and about on roads, please stay home. Uh, can we ask people to check on family and friends, particularly those who you know live in low-lying areas? And you may receive uh, door knocking by emergency workers asking you uh, to move out of your home. Can I appeal to people in the Brisbane and Ipswich areas, please follow the directions of our emergency workers and police. They are there for your safety and the safety of your family. Can I encourage people to keep checking the latest information? Uh, I thank all of our media outlets for the work that they are doing to keep people well informed. We also have substantial material on websites of our local councils, but I know that uh, some of that, as more and more people get online, is becoming uh, a little difficult to access. Can I encourage people to be patient? Can I also say that I understand uh, tomorrow's Courier Mail will include flood maps of Brisbane, and I would encourage people uh, who aren't online or don't feel comfortable with online information uh, to access that material so that you know where your street might be. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is, as I said, an unfolding situation and we will keep you updated. Thank you.